Hey, this is Barry signing in back again with my GameCube collection that I have. Most of these are complete. They're all that I've uh, paid for over the years. And um, there's just a few that I am meaning to complete, but just haven't gotten to around it. But um, let's start, okay? This is my Sonic Gems collection. I love this collection. It is like the per it was like the perfect collection back in the day. It includes basically every Sonic game and uh, Sonic R. Sonic the Fighters is also a pretty fun one and Sonic CD. Although the this, I don't believe this uh, version of CD is that great compared to the recent ones, but still this game, um, based, there's two collect Sonic uh, collections that are released on the cube. There's just the Mega Collection and then the uh, Gem Collection, but this one was exclusive to the GameCube. So, moving on, we got, this game is a great party game with four players and uh, Kirby's Air Ride. Best, uh, best mode ever is the City Trial and um, you get all these different vehicles and then um, you can increase their stats and attack other players in the game. And uh, I've, I've played a couple of them where basically like you would have maximum glide. And then if there's like a, a gliding mission that will, that everyone has to compete, then you'll just skyrocket in the air and go on for miles. Okay. Next one, we got Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I bought this at Target when it was like, I wouldn't want to say 20 bucks. It was on sale, but today this game is expensive. It goes for like 60 to $80, I believe. And this is complete. Okay, next one. This is uh this is something uh, I enjoyed back in the day and I still have uh newer versions of. We got the Mega Man anniversary collection. This was celebrating uh Mega Man I think 20th anniversary. No, it's 15th. It says on the box. But basically what this has one through uh I think it has 1 through 8 on it. And then it has the two arcade games. They're like um, uh, Street Fighter games and you can play it with two players. I don't know if this has, yeah, it says one through eight. And that includes the two arcade games. It's basically like uh, Street Fighter meets um, Mega Man. Okay, next one. We got the Maverick Hunter X collection. This one only has one through six, and then it has a bonus game called Mega Chasers. What that basically is, is Mega Man meets Mario Kart. And uh, I would love for them to um, do a new version of that, of the Mega Racers. It's Oh, the game is okay overall, but I don't know. I would just like to, I like to see like lots of, uh, uh, titles that haven't gotten a lot of support and, uh, kind of bring them back in a new way. Okay. This one is my most expensive title out of my whole collection. If not, I bought this at GameStop complete. When it was on the shelf for like, uh, when they were phasing out the Game Gear collection, we have Skies of Arcadia Legends. It is complete. I will show you. This game goes for like 150 plus to $200 in that range. It is like minty. And uh, I still haven't beaten this game. I would love to, for them to have like a HD remaster of this maybe include a mode where you can uh, fast forward through battles and and uh 
uh, remaster the cutscenes, just add maybe more weapons, but I still haven't beaten the beaten the Skies of Arcadia Legends to this day. Um, I got to the very end, and I think I was under-leveled, and it was at the point where it's either you fight Ramirez or... I, I, yeah, I, I saved at a spot where I, like, fight Ramirez right at the end, and um, I couldn't go back and level, and it was kind of dumb, but I would like uh, for them to, like I said, come back, remaster the game, and put it on basically everything. Okay, next one. We got the Star Fox Assault. This, in my opinion, is better than Zero in many ways because it has a better multiplayer. It's um, not only can you uh, run around on foot with guns and find different weapons like a rocket launcher. There's Modars. There's jetpacks. But you can also fly your your ships and the Landmaster. That that game, this Star Fox Assault, is also one of the better GameCube games in my opinion. And this got announced recently in a new collection. This is Tales of Symphonia for the GameCube. In my opinion, this is the definitive way to play it because of the 60 frames per second option. They did announce a, a new PS4 version, but it's still at 30 frames per second. I, I Why can't they just, you know, go inside and just fix it, make a new version of it? Okay. Next game, in my opinion, um, a lot of people have different opinions on this game, but um, I like it. We got Wind Waker. I know they got an HD remake on the Wii U. I do have that, and I will show you that in a future collection video. A lot of people hated the art style that was too cartoony. I didn't mind it. I hated it at first, but after a while, I got over it. It's still a, a really good uh, Legend of Zelda game. It doesn't take that long to... Um, Get 100% if you know what you're doing. Okay, next one. This was a pre-order bonus for buying, uh, pre-ordering uh, Wind Waker. And this is the uh, Master Quest and N64. Um, this one isn't complete. I am meaning to uh, get the manual for it uh, later on. At least I would try to anyway. I'm just, I've been working a lot lately and um, I just haven't uh, gone online and just getting the manual, okay? And I also, also for my next game, we got the action replay, like I'm showing you. I only use this when I really have to. It unless unless if I just you know beat the game and I just wanted to uh, make fools of the enemies, like I. Um, Used it for, um, where is it, uh, Tales of Symphonia, where you have, like, all the skits and max levels, all the weapons. I've already beaten the game on uh, GameCube, Wii, and PS3. But I always just like to screw around with the uh, enemies and just kind of torture them a little bit. And this next game, in my opinion, is... Probably one of the better uh, Simpsons games. It's basically Simpsons meets Grand Theft Auto. You can uh, explore the world of the Simpsons, go to all the different locations, steal cars, buy costumes, and unlock things like uh, like there's a a track mode that you can play like a a mini RC game. You get them by completing all the collectible cards for each stage. And yeah. And my last but not least game, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Um, in my opinion, I prefer Adventure 2 better. Um, a lot of people like the Adventure 1. Um, 
Adventure 2, in my opinion, has the um, better action action stages. And there's more upgrades you can get for the characters. And uh, the multiplayer is also really fun. You can do like a, a kart racing game. And then you can do a, like find uh, crystals. Or you can do action races. I do have this and uh, DX on the PS3. There are HD ports. They're okay for what they are, but they don't have widescreen, so they have these ugly borders on the side. And that is my collection for the GameCube. This is Barry signing off. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in my next gaming collection. Bye.